Hey everyone, this is Ricky Bell with Victolic VDC. I'm a programmer for Victolic Tools for Revit. I want to talk to you today about a tool in our toolbar called the Pipe Rack Tool. The whole idea of this tool is to be able to give you an easy way to set the elevation of horizontal straights by the bottom of the straight, where it's going to fall on the hanger. Now this tool will work with pipe, duct, conduit, fabrication parts, pretty much any MEP straight that Revit can draw. Now Revit's made some advancements with Revit 2020 in setting the bottom of pipe. They've added some parameters that make it a little easier for you. So let me show you that quick. If I zoom into these two pieces right here, I can now select two horizontal straights and set the bottom elevation to be nine feet. And that comes in handy in many situations. One thing that you can't do with Revit's new tool is select any other category at the same time. So if you have multiple trades on the same hanger, then you're going to be setting them individually. Another thing the Revit tool doesn't account for is insulation on the pipe. When you set the elevation by the bottom of the pipe, the insulation gets ignored and becomes a conflict with the hanger. So what we've come up with with the pipe rack tool is a very simple way to make a selection that has multiple categories in it with or without insulation and to set the bottom elevation with just a couple clicks. So let's take a look. So we'll go over here to this section of the model where I have a few hangers set up and I have multiple trades going on. I've got duct and conduit and in fabrication parts with insulation on them. I've got pipe with insulation on it. I've got some square duct up here, some rounds down here. It's a whole mix of things that you could put side by side on a hanger. And I'm sure this situation is all too familiar where you set the center line of your hanger to match the center line of your pipe and you end up with a clash right in the middle of your model like this. So to fix this, let's take a look at where our hangers are. Our hangers have a center line elevation of nine feet. So let's make everything in our selection match that. So I'll do this rack first. Now I can highlight multiple things in my selection right here and run under the pipe tools, the pipe rack tool. Now it's gonna by default show me the lowest point that it could find, which was eight foot six. But I wanna drive this instead of read from it. So I'm gonna say nine feet and click okay. Now let's take a look. The conduit is placed right on top of the hanger. This round duct is placed right on top of the hanger. All of these other ones that have or do not have insulation are placed properly where you can see that their center lines are far above nine feet. This one has one inch of insulation, so the bottom elevation is set to nine foot one. And that makes perfect sense because we want it to be resting on the hanger, not conflicting with the hanger. I have another rack up here with a similar situation. It's, uh, it's rectangle duct along with another piece of pipe. So I'll go ahead and highlight them. You could even put some fittings into your selection. It really doesn't matter. If it can change the elevation, it will. So back to the pipe rack tool, it's telling me nine foot seven is the lowest it could find. This particular hanger is hung at 10 feet. So I'll hit 10 feet right there and click okay. And now everything's adjusted to be resting on that 10 foot hanger and right beneath it is the nine foot rack that we created. Okay, so that's it. The pipe rack tool is a very simple tool for setting the bottom elevation for MEP straights. It's a very powerful tool that's easy to use. Thank you so much for watching.